Hello, peoples. Mr. Jofi here with your new tutorials? Video tutorials, yeah. So, recently, I took a picture of the moon. Or, rather, I took several pictures of the moon. Um, let me just see if I can find it. And here it is. So this is a picture of my moon from the way I saw it that day and how I made this picture because no matter how big of a lens you have on a DSLR camera you are not gonna take a sharp enough image of the moon so you will have to make the picture with several pictures and I am gonna show you today how to do that um, the way I did this is go away uh, I shot a lot of pictures of the moon and I these I shot this morning like 15 minutes ago so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these whoops pictures all of them import them into Lightroom you just drag them over there mark the control a to mark them all and just drag them in and then import and let's just go full screen with this there we go then all you have to do is go through all of your pictures and find those which are sharpest. Um, this can be challenging, uh, especially if you don't have too much patience in your life. But kind of find the way I found that I, I could do this easiest was to find like all the craters down here, for example. Um, and then just go through them. See this one? Let load in. Might not be as sharp as this one, so I'll give this maybe a, just give it a three rating, so I can easily sort through them when I have to delete all those bad ones. So um, I'll go through all these, sort them out, get the sharpest ones, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so then you just go back into this uh, grid view and you sort them by rating. So you take all your uh, one ratings and you just take them and you can remove them. You can either, if you want to keep them, just press remove. If you don't want to keep them like I don't, I'll just delete them from disk. I mean, raw files takes up a lot of space. All right, so that leaves me with a lot of threes and some fours, and I'm actually quite happy with the amount of fours that I do have. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna mark them all, export them as JPEGs. Um, let's see, let's just find, oops, choose, choose, thank you. In the best quality, the quality, the quality you can. So let's just do a JPEG folder right here. Boom. Select the folder. 
and boom. Oh yeah, then it puts it in the, in an exported file. So it'll export these 39 files, and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing you are going to need is a program called Registax. It's an astronomer's program dealio, so the interface is not too cool. Uh, it's actually pretty ugly, but I'll open it up. But it's free, and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, how to get it and download it, and, and, and you're going to need some stuff for it. Select, find your folder, it's on the desktop, in my case, there it is, JPEGs, untitled. Can we view them as details, please? Can we get some rating in here, please? Sort it by rating, thank you. And we'll take all of the rating fours in that I have, you just uh, shift or click the one first one you want and then shift click the last one you want and it will mark all of them and then you just press open and if this comes up uh, because they're in color I didn't take them in black and white just say yes and you can take this off whatever so here we have the moon in Registax so what this program does it, it, it takes all of your pictures and then it aligns them to make them sharp. So you set a line points. That was fast. I did get a new CPU though, so that might be why. Then you align. This is just a quick walkthrough of how you do it. And then you press limit. Then we are here in the in this one. I can't remember what that's called. The fan, whatever. This thing. And then you press stack. You stack them all. You, you can see how they're, it's going to move all the pictures together here to the, these points. So just stack them. This will take a little bit, especially if you have a slower computer. Then, if if you're getting errors or it doesn't want to align properly, try with fewer pictures. Um, I feel I, the one that I showed you, I made up of four or five pictures when I was on my i5. Um, now I'm on an i7. Uh, which is, to say the least, a lot faster. All right, so here we are. Then we go to go to Wavelet up here. From here, you will need to play with these sliders. I have my own right here, but these are kind of the numbers you want. And those are the numbers anyways that I like. And you can kind of see if you click here you can kind of see a preview and it will make a little square of a preview for you. Uh, you can kind of see how sharp it's going to become when you're done with it. But uh, note these numbers and just uh, you can just punch them in or you can play with the sliders to get the result that you want. Then you just play, play. then you just press do all and this will take a little bit too. So we're done. Then you just save your image. Um, let's go back one. And just save it as Moon uh, Reggie Done something. Right? Okie dokie. Then you can just go back out of this and back out of there. And then I'll move this over because then I want to import. I mean, you. This is uh, the resulted picture that I have now, right? You just zoom in, do whatever, right? And that's pretty sharp and that's pretty neat and everything. And that's actually pretty, pretty good. But you can pull it back into Lightroom if you want. I just, you don't have to use Lightroom. I'm using Lightroom because it's a nice way to sort my pictures and stuff. It, it, it's a good way to, yeah, keep it sorted. Right, so you have your picture, you can go into develop and then you can just start playing around with it. Um, maybe converting it into black and white so you don't have as much information in it. Um, play around with the exposure, contrast, whatever you want to get the picture that you want. 
I'm pretty happy with it as it is, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna play around with this for a little bit and uh, I'll show you my end result. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. I'm not going to play too much around with it. I could do a lot more to it. Um, but there you have it. This is how you make a moon picture and makes, make it really sharp. So, uh, so uh, there you go. That's how you do it. That, this tutorial, I have to say, is something I learned from a photographer called Tony Northrup and his tutorials that he made on it. Um, but yeah, this is how I do it. Okay, thanks for now, and uh, please remember if you liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Maybe even subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will mean a lot to me. So yeah, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.